Hello and welcome back! In today's video, I'll be taking you through my designing and sewing process to make five different pieces from secondhand fabrics. If you've seen my videos before, you know I try to only work with secondhand materials, so I was very excited when I discovered a small shop at the local market that sells secondhand clothes and also lots of bed sheets. So I had a good look through the piles and I bought a few of them. I got this gingham yellow tablecloth, this moomin bedsheet, this blue and purple flowery print, a green and yellow flowery print, a simple yellow duvet cover, and this Pokemon bedsheet. <laughs> I wanted the design for this dress to be kind of high fashion, but also still fun and playful. So I decided to go for a scalloped waist with long straps that tie into bows at the shoulders, a little organza ruffle at the waist, and a nice and puffy bubble hem. To make my pattern, I took a basic bodice block and I cut out the waist and the neckline to match my design. I had to make a few prototypes, but once I was happy with the fit, I cut my fabric. I first made a lining shell out of this yellow duvet cover. It has a straight waistline because it won't be visible and that's just a little bit easier to make. I added some straps to the lining and then I moved on to making the Pokemon bodice. Once I was done, I made a ruffle with this scrap piece of blue organza and I sewed it to the bodice before attaching the skirt. I slipped the lining shell inside the Pokemon shell right sides together and I sewed all the way around the neckline to basically turn them into one dress. I wanted to add some flames at the end of the straps, so I cut some shapes out of some felt and then I slipped them into the gaps at the end of the straps and I sewed over a few times. To create the bubble hem, I gathered the Pokemon hem and sewed it to the lining hem, and then I had to pull my dress right sides out through a gap I left in the lining. The final touch was making and sewing a label with this brand new ink stamp I got, and making a matching scrunchie. And here it is once I was done! With this amazing silvery flowery fabric, I started out by cutting and sewing the same bodice pattern as the Pokemon dress, but with a straight waistline instead of scallops this time. My initial idea was to do a pleated skirt, but when I got to that point, I actually changed my mind because I thought this is such a gorgeous print, it really should be the star of the show and it shouldn't be cramped with pleats or gathers or anything else. So I went for an A-line skirt and I really loved it. And because I didn't do the pleated skirt, I actually had enough fabric left to make a second one. They're both fully lined, they both have pockets and the best thing is they kind of shine in the sun. So you might recognize this gingham tablecloth from my previous video. I used it to sew the apron for lemon harvest, but I did have quite a lot left, so I decided to do one last variation of the Pokemon bodice. This time, same bodice, but I'm gonna add this little add-on over here to create a sort of mock corset shape. To create my skirt, it's just gonna be a gathered skirt, so I need to take this shape and slash and spread it to get the right amount of gathers.
My mom gave me this beautiful madras fabric a couple of years ago and I wanted to use it for a design that would be both chic and cool so I decided to make a simple A-line dress but with some huge dramatic puff sleeves. I interfaced the sleeves to give them some structure and I sewed the gathered sleeve hem to the lining sleeve hem using the exact same technique I used for the bubble hem of the Pokemon dress which makes the sleeve super puffed but without any visible seam. I used another bed sheet for the lining and I added some ties at the back so you can tighten the fit of the dress. At some point I went back to the secondhand clothes shop and I found these beautiful sheer curtains and I just wanted to use them to make something fun without overthinking it. So I picked a starting point which is going to be this pink secondhand curtain and I'm just going to try and find fabric scraps that match it, that work well with it. I don't really know, I'm just going to figure out the design from here. So. The first fabric I saw in our scrap bags was this blue flowery gingham. There was just enough to make a top, so I started with a square bodice and then I added some straps and some back ties. I added a lining using the same bed sheet as the previous dress and then I cut and sewed some big puff sleeves out of the pink curtain. I finished the sleeves with a cuff and then I added a ruffle to the hem. And honestly, I can't describe how happy and amazing wearing this stuff makes you feel. So I was really glad I followed my instinct when making it. all together i would love to know which one's your favorite so please do let me know in the comments and if you want to buy any of them you can go to my instagram or follow the link in the description where you'll find pictures prices and measurements thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time